Just before adding the raptors, there's one more thing we can do with the camera. By adding a small z-axis rotation, we can create a bit more tension in action. Often around 5 to 8 degrees is more than enough. Okay, on to the characters. In the Content tab, go to Figures, Daz, Soars, and select the Allosaurus. It's a bit big for our scene, so select the Scene tab and the Allosaurus object in the Parameters tab. Adjust the scale to 50%. Let's move our friend down to the floor and make him closer to the camera. That will do for now. Now just duplicate the procedure and add another one. In the Scene tab, select the second Allosaurus and again adjust scale to 50% using the Parameters tab. Moving can also be done by directly altering the X, Y, or Z trans in the Parameters tab. Oops, he got clipped by the wall. In case this happens, it's very handy to switch to Top View and the Wireframe Preview mode. After some zooming out, we can clearly see our friend and move and rotate him to position. Back to Default Camera View and the Texture Shaded Preview. You can see that we are constantly switching between the Translate and Rotate tools in order to position and place our character in the right position. When you have your character roughly where you want them, it's time to add some poses. Content Tab, Poses, and Allosaurus Poses. The right character would look cool if he somewhat turned his head toward the camera. Quick Turn applies the pose and we can then readjust the position and rotation. In the Scene tab, select the first Allosaurus. Back to the Content tab and Poses, select Challenge, Low, and readjust the rotation and position. When you accidentally move something you don't want to move, you can either click on the Edit menu and select Undo, or hit Control z on the keyboard. That would be Command-Z on a Mac. Before moving to the lighting, I think our friends look a little large compared to the set, so let's scale them down 45%. Some quick repositioning, and we're done. Time for some light. 